August is hot, and so are the savings at Appalachian Wireless, where all smartphones are 50% off. Even the 64, 128, and 256 gig models. Two-year agreement required. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. Congressman Hal Rogers announced a number of grants today for Floyd and McGoffin counties. They include $1 million to Prestonsburg for an expansion on their wastewater treatment plant, nearly $2 million for a new rails-to-trails project from Prestonsburg to David, and nearly another $2 million in support of the Royalton Trail Town project. We're going to use that money there in Royalton Trail Town. We're going to use it in 15 acres along the Dawkins Line Rail Trail. And it's going to give places for people to stay, activities. We'll be having different things available there in that bottom. In that way, that will change the Dawkins Line Rail Trail because right now people will come to it more because they're going to have something to do when they come to Royalton Trail Town. And they're going to have some place to stay, and that's the biggie. Prestonsburg Mayor Les Stapleton is excited for the new rail trail to David, but he says he and Victoria Doucette have a long-term goal in place. I know you've already talked with Vicki Doucette from uh, Royalton Trail Towns. We're only about six and a half, seven miles from them. We're already working towards trying to join with them. Make this a complete circuit. Make it somewhere so they can enjoy both their rail trail, both our, our city, and the Dawkins Trail. Our goal is 100% to move forward, try to get tourists in here, get people in here interested. Once they come here and see how much we got to offer, they want to live here. When they want to live here, they bring jobs. It's a process. It's just going to take us some time to get there. The road to today's projects becoming a reality began two years ago when Congressman Hal Rogers earmarked a $195 million bill to help projects in five different states that were hit hard by the decline of the coal industry. You're clearing a piece of property, restoring an old coal mine that's going to be used for a shopping center. So this will allow you to build sewage to it and water and grade it down, perhaps build a road, that type of thing. Abandoned mine lands reclamation with a job producing impact. Uh, and so Kentucky is sharing in that money. The state decides where it's spent. They'll spend it on local projects like the ones we've mentioned. Another bill Congressman Rogers is supporting is called the Reclaim Act, which is similar to the Abandoned Mine Land Pilot Project. For more information on the Reclaim Act, visit halrogers.house.gov. Reporting from Prestonsburg, I'm Sean Allen for EKB News.